evening. I'd like to call this meeting for the city of San Juan at 6 p.m. May we rise for invocation? Mr. Arjona, can you lead us, please? Our heads. Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Help us engage in meaningful discussions. Allow us to go closer as a group and nurture the bonds of our community. Fill us with your grace, Lord God, and continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish is for the greater glory of you and for the service of this community. We ask these things in your name. Amen. 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 Face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, under public comments, we have Mr. <coughs> Ms. Brenda. Yes, yeah, see. Mayor Commissioner, good evening, staff uh, and community. Welcome to our city meeting. I know that uh, we have uh, presentations. We have presentation recognizing the City of San Juan 20 All Star teams and participants of the Games of Texas. Mr. Patrick Winningham, Mr. Ruben Guajardo, they're here to introduce these kids. These kids are champions. They went over and represented the city of San Juan very well. So, um, Mr. Patrick. Good evening, Mayor Commissioner. Um, tonight we're here to recognize uh, uh, several of our uh, local athletes who who represented the city over the summer, uh, both at the Games of Texas and in all-star play throughout the state, and even competed against teams from actually all over the world. So um, we're very proud of, these, of all these kids who, who participated and represented the city. They did an outstanding job, as well as the coaches and the families that supported them throughout the summer. Uh, they're all to be congratulated. So to start out, uh, with first, we have um, some athletes that represent the city at the Games of Texas and uh, that are here with us tonight. So first, I'd like to recognize um, one of our swimmers, Ricardo Castillo. by Gianna Salinas, Cassandra Jimenez, Shelby Perez, and um, Our swim team had several, uh, seven several medals at the regional meet, seven bronze medals at the regional meet, and 50 top 10 uh, placements. Uh, at, the state of, at the State Games of Texas, we had four that finished uh, seventh place uh, representing the city. Uh, this summer, we had 61 participants in swimming. So uh, that program is growing and we're starting to see the results of that. Um, track and field. Tonight we have with us Darnell Gonzalez. He finished eighth place, eighth place as part of the four by 400 meter team in the 14U division at the state games. Joseph Luna. So part of the four by 400 meter dash. Uh, relay. Ezra Perez. And our coaches for track this summer was Salamón de la Rosa. Ramsey Moreno. And assistant coach Oscar Tolentino. These kids were part of a larger group, obviously, that went and competed in Corpus. Uh, they were the ones who were able to make it here tonight, but we did want to congratulate them. We sent 40 kids and a bunch of coaches and program assistants, and um, organized staff did an outstanding job organizing the buses, the hotel rooms, the meals. Everybody was fed. Everybody was taken to Corpus and uh, got back safely, and that's the most important thing. 
And of course, they all had an outstanding summer. So uh, we want to congratulate them again. One more with the glasses. Put them on, son. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. One more. Right, one for the glasses. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. All right. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Good job. Uh, Commission, uh, again, I'd like to thank you for allowing us to be up tonight. Uh, just want to say a couple things that, um, that need to be said. And actually, not only do we have the support of our commission, our city manager, uh, uh, and, and we tr basically I mean, we, we appreciate everything that's due for us. But I think what needs to be noted and mentioned is, is like Mr. Willingham did touch, is you know, the, the organization of our programs. And this cannot be done with, number one, uh, the head of our department, which is Mr. Willingham, and the backbone of our, our department is going to be our staff. So, you know, I'd like to acknowledge Mr. Uh, Ramiro Moreno for his work that he's done, which is, like, like Mr. Willingham did touch, it's the organization of it. You know, without these, these uh, instructors, male and female head, part-time, this could not have been gotten done. You know, I was there uh, as, a, uh, as a supervisor chaperone there in Corpus, and it's not easy. There's a tremendous responsibility of getting these young kids up there. Uh, and, and we understand that some of the families are, uh, need some assistance financially. So you know, they trust in our program in our city to send their young athletes with us. And some of them are there for several days at a time. You know, so you're dealing with overnight stays. You're dealing with uh, sleepy, sleepovers. You're sleeping, waking up on time, getting them into their, their event. Uh, but I, like I said, I didn't want this night to end without uh, acknowledging our staff and, and the tremendous work they do. So. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our 8U baseball team. Our 8U baseball team uh, did an outstanding job this summer. Um, represented San Juan, you know, to the fullest. And uh, these kids just did, just did great all summer long. They finished first place at the sectional tournament, which we hosted here in San Juan, June 20th through the 25th. They finished first place at the regional tournament right next door in FAR, June 27th through July 3rd. And they went to the Pony South Zone World Series, which was held in uh, Youngsville, Louisiana. And that was uh, July 20th through the 24th and they finished with a four and three record up there. So at this time, I would like to introduce our eight-year-old all-star team, World Series all-star team. Caden Aguirre. <laughs> Caleb Barbosa. <laughs> Isaac De Hoyos. Ian Garza. <laughs> Eric Morin. <laughs> Gino Quintanilla, the fourth. <laughs> Jordan Quintanilla. <laughs> Axel Ramirez. Steven Robles, the second. <laughs> Leroy Rubio. <laughs> Who 
Julian Ruiz. Chase Solis. And our coaches who sacrificed a lot of time, volunteered, spent a lot of time with these kids throughout the spring and summer, and uh, hats off to them for, for a tremendous job. Manager, Gene Quintanilla. <laughs> Coach, Larry Quintanilla. <laughs> Coach, Omar Morin. <laughs> and business manager, Fernando Rodriguez. Again, guys, uh, they did an outstanding job representing us all the way here in the valley, in the region, and of course in the South Zone region, all the way up to Louisiana. And they did an outstanding job uh, going up there and, and fighting hard and uh, representing the city very well. So, congratulations, guys. Good job. Okay, now moving on to our final team tonight, which is our 12U All-Star team. And again, these, these kids did just an outstanding job representing the city of San Juan. And we really searched as much as we can search and asked as many people as possible. And we really believe this is the first team that ever represented the city of San Juan at the Pony International World Series. Um, as, as they get older in Pony, uh, so to speak, the stakes get higher. Um, once you get to 9 and 10, it's not just a zone or a regional, it's an international World Series. So uh, they got to a point where they were one of four representatives or five representatives from the United States, as well as um, three others from, from around the world, which Taiwan, uh, uh, Dominican Republic and Mexico uh, was competing at this event so it was a, it was a very big accomplishment um, one thing I'd like to say and I think it's important I know it's a detail but I think it's really important just for everybody to know the significance of a team from a city like San Juan that gets there you know ponies growing uh, they played teams from California there was teams from Virginia so in those areas you get a pony league that is con It'd be like if in the Valley there was only two pony leagues. So we would draw from kids from Rio all the way to Harlingen, and then from Harlingen that way we'd go to another one. We're from a town of 35,000, and we're playing against leagues that were composed of, you know, pulling kids from cities that amounted to 350,000, you know, 10 of those cities. So it was, it was a very big accomplishment for these kids that were all from, from the city. So they did, a, they did a tremendous job finishing first place at the sectional tournament in Mercedes on June 20, 20th through the 25th, first place at the regional tournament in Harlingen, that was June 27th through July 3rd, <laughs> first place at the South Zone Championships in Deer Park, Texas, that was July 20th through the 23rd, and uh, we represented San Juan at the World Series in Laredo, Texas, uh, July 29th through the 31st. So again, an outstanding job by these individuals, and we're gonna recognize them right now. 
Let's start out with Emmanuel Alaniz. Joel Alvarez. Max Molina, Jordan Munoz, Haciel Peña, Nathan Peña, Gael Zambrano, On our team at the World Series, we had the best champion, best batting average at the World Series, and that was Aiden Michael Wajardo. <laughs> also at the World Series, we had, they had the Home Run Derby, and we had the runner-up, the second place finisher in the Home Run Derby, Rolando Rodriguez. Managed by Mr. Martin Gamboa. <laughs> Travis McAlpine. Oh, he wasn't able to make it. And Coach Jerry Munoz. Again, a great accomplishment to get to the World Series. Four tournaments throughout the summer plus the spring, uh, starting back in early March, uh, late February. And I know these guys put in a lot of work, not just with our league but I see them practicing in our parks year round. So uh, surely did pay off and we look forward to seeing them do a lot of damage over the uh, few years as all of these boys are entering seventh grade now. So they'll start with UIL sport. We're looking forward to a lot of good things from, from, this, from this bunch. So again, guys, congratulations to you guys, your families, uh, parents, you know, fans that, that supported them throughout the summer. Thank you very much for all your support. And uh, again, congratulations. Guys, congratulations. You know, it's it's uh it's very beautiful to see that um, what what the city of San Juan is is producing here in many many years. You know that I can recall. You know, I know a lot of us here you know, played baseball, football at a very young age. And, uh, you know, Mr. Willingham hit it right on the spot, you know, that we can remember. We don't even know if a team like this one went as far as, you know, they did. And that, that's a blessing, boys. And uh, that's a blessing for all kids who come through our programs. You know, um, I know we're big avids when it comes to uh, youth sports. We're here to work with our, with our school districts. As you can see, fields are getting built. We're, we're, we're building a, a field over here on the north side, or well, it's more of a park, right? But, uh, you know, we're, this commission and the staff is very supportive of, of our kids. And once again, I wanna congratulate you guys for the hard work. Also parents, thank you parents for, for being there for your kids and, and supporting them. Uh, you know, I just feel that one day, like I mentioned, 
earlier, you know, during y'all send off. Who knows? We'll be watching you guys on Sports Center, my favorite show, so that way y'all know. So, <laughs> uh, but yes, guys, once again, I want to thank the kids, the summer programs, everyone who went through uh, our city. You guys, honestly, honestly, put San Juan on the map, and I thank you so much for doing that. Your hard work and your dedications. Once again, let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Mayor, if I may, um, I had the privilege of watching these boys play on Friday when y'all played California. And Nathan, for the record, I did heckle that umpire you had at second base, <laughs> calling that player safe when he was out. So not allowed to go back home until Tuesday. Okay, so we got taken care of. But you guys did amazing, like we said at the pep rally. Um, you guys, and of course the other teams that were presented earlier, enjoy the moment because like you guys, it's great. Your parents have absolute bragging rights for a while, so don't get annoyed with them because they're very proud of you. The city is proud of you, and it's a lot of work because at the end of the day, you guys are out there in that hot sun. Like it, It's hot, and y'all put in the hard work, not only at the games but at the practices. Your parents are the ones that sacrifice, call each other, can you take my kid, you know, stuff like that, and the coaches for their time that they put into. Um, you will always have the support of the entire commission and the community. So we're all very proud of you and all of the teams that represented San Juan. We heard nothing but positive things out there from all of the teams. So we're really proud of you guys being able to represent the city and more so congratulations on an outstanding season. Congratulations. Uh, quick, I'd like to congratulate everybody. Of course, what an accomplishment, guys. Parents, uh, being a parent, being involved in, in baseball, I know Mayor and many of us here that, that I recognize been involved in it before, Coach, with your other kids before. Uh, cherish it, guys. Cherish it. You're gonna look back on these times, and not only the, the fact that you you've done so well, you've done so good as a team, and accomplished what you accomplished, right? No other team has done that. But the the the, the going to hotels, staying the night. I, believe me. When you get a little bit older, a couple years from now, that's all you're going to remember. In your older days, when we were younger, that's all we talk about now as adults and stuff like that. And we cherish it and we remember it. Not only that, parents, what you guys go through. I mean, I've been a, a, a baseball dad before and coach and stuff like that. Been there. And it, it's not easy. But, guys, congratulate your mom and dad for being there day in and day out. Your coaches supporting you. It's not easy. And they do it anyways. And they do it all because, you know, for you guys, the way you all represented the city is unheralded, and, and, and we're very proud of you. I just wanted to let you all know that. Cherish your moment. You'll reflect back on these days as, as a great accomplishment for yourselves. Congratulations. Just, just to wrap it up, you know, I, I have to say, on behalf of the parents, the volunteers, the coaches, the players, we want to thank you. Our city manager, Mr. Arjona, I mean, you know, this takes, it takes a lot of money to, to send them all over the place. And when I come to them with, uh, we need a little bit more, no hesitation. You know, I want everybody to know, no hesitation from anybody. You know, we find it and we get them there. So we want to thank them and, and congratulate them as well because without their support, you know, none of this happens. So I'd like to give a big round of applause to them as well. And our programs are glowing, growing and flourishing, so Leroy, just take note. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, I'd just like to thank you guys to join uh, our, our city uh, parks and recs for baseball. How many of you guys are going to Austin Middle School? Raise up your hand. Everyone. I guess everyone's going to go there, right? Well, you're all going to see me there. Uh, i tell you is uh, hard work does pay at the end. Hard work does pay at the end. You know, uh, been doing it for more than 35 years, and it pays at the end. And you guys are the, rep the guys are going to represent every our city from now on until you graduate. And I guarantee your parents are so proud of you guys that, you know, maybe they didn't get a chance to play that much, but you guys are putting it up for us. Congratulations again. Enjoy the rest of the what? Three days, four days. School starts the 22nd.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Yes, sir. I guess, Mr. Willingham, I just want to put something on the record, sir, and so that way you can maybe notify your staff that, um, you know, I just want to give a big, big uh, congratulations and a big shout out to your Parks and Rec uh, 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 guys out there day in, day out, working on our fields. You know, they're tremendous. I mean, they, they look so great, you know, from our turf fields to our, uh, what we hear at Mayfield, um, you know, I just want to want you guys to let them know that that we really appreciate of the hard work that they're doing and uh, you know I know Nick and Eddie and Ruben the other Ruben as well you know those guys they're part of the uh, crew right so uh, just let them know that that continue their the good work and it's it's we can see it it's noticeable you know and I bring that up because these kids are playing on these beautiful fields and and I mean it's just unbelievable you know how I've been out there and I've seen how you know ground balls come at them and you know the balls are real smooth because of all the hard work and 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 the maintenance that they're doing and so thank them for us tomorrow uh, thank you so much okay all right go ahead Mr. Ruffin. yes and again congratulations um, item B presentation of departmental reports tonight we have Department of Planning and Zoning Department of Parks and Recreation Department of Sanitation and San Juan Memorial Library Every director is here available. Mayor Commissioner, should you have any questions for them on their reports? I guess I want to make a comment to, uh, for Mr. Garza in regards to two weeks ago, I know we went out there on Citrus and Oblate. I appreciate you, sir, and your staff going out there and painting the, the elderly's uh, wall. Uh, if you notice, thank you, Mr. Rona, for yes, moving sir. on that camera as well. Uh, I, was, I was hesitant to go by Oblate because I didn't want <laughs> to see <laughs> you know, and I, but I didn't know that the, 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 camera. the camera was out yeah. there. And I sh the next day I went and I passed by and, and you know what? I saw it and I appreciate mm -hmm. that, sir. Appreciate your staff. I know we have a cleanup coming up on the 20th. Good. So uh, can you share a little bit, put that on, on the record a little bit with the, with the citizens out there who are watching? You want to get the mic, Mr. Garza? We're, we're getting some uh, calendars made magnetic for the uh, refrigeration or wherever you want to put it on appliance. Uh, Myra's taking care of that. We got some goodies. We're, we're going to be trying to set up a table with a national night out uh, or whatever you all are having to give the, the kids their package. We're going to throw it in there. We're also doing a second one sometime in October, which we're going to publicize a little bit more on it, be a little bit more prepared. This was kind of in a hurry. But we're going to be pub, uh, uh, educating the public on wh what we do and how we do it by uh, throwing some information out there through my staff. Uh, I know, uh, I guess down on the agenda, we'll, we'll talk about the trucks, right? We'll yes, sir. All right. I know that's for your department. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions for the directors? All right. We'll, uh, we'll move on. Go ahead, sir. So we'll start with the hearings and ordinances tonight we have a full the public hearing and consider an ordinance regarding conditional use permit to allow the spot food truck park and sell of alcoholic beverages wine and beer for on-premise consumption at 103 Alta Street legally described at lots 16 through 18 block 4 small number 2 subdivision located southwest corner of Alta Street and Raul Longoria Road as requested by Yolanda de la Cruz Presenta <coughs> LLC as you know this item was tabled at the last meeting so we need to untable it before we Is there a motion on table so I'll second that all those in favor say aye aye this item's on the table. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, the next uh, agenda is uh, the rezoning request. Or do you need the, the presentation for that one? Yolanda de la Cruz? Yes, we're on. Okay. The uh, this is the first item on the agenda. It's a public hearing that was tabled uh, pre on the previously, previous meetings. It's a conditional use permit to allow a food truck park and for the sale of alcoholic beverages for on premise consumption. The property is located at the southwest corner of Alta Street and Raul Longoria Road. As you remember, previously we rezoned the property from single family to commercial, and the applicant is pro proposing 10 food trucks with parking and green areas and restroom facilities for customers and employees. 
The applicant will need to comply with the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission requirements, obtain permits with TxDOT to get access along Raul Longoria Road, and uh, comply with the annual permits with the city of San Juan. This is a public hearing, and now this matter is before you. I'm going to go ahead and open this up at 6.39 p.m. 6.39 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? For or against? You can come to the podium, sir. State your name for the record, Chief. My name is Garza, and I'm representing Yolanda de la Cruz Presenta, LLC. Um, as you know, we, this is our third time here, and we're working hard to comply. Uh, we believe we're bringing something um, positive for the city of San Juan in the spot. Um, we've spared no expense on, on the design uh, and in the, in the finished work. You know, we, we aim, we're aiming high. Uh, we've done a lot of research across the valley and in Mexico and other parts of the country uh, to just try to bring the best to San Juan. Uh, of course, we're cognizant of the fact that we have neighbors uh, and um, we're cognizant of the fact that the city of San Juan has requirements and we worked hard to meet all of those requirements. I believe the last uh, requirement uh, had to do with a concern over the drive-through and a possible um, traffic that would um, then maybe impede uh, street traffic. And so we did meet again to discuss that with the city manager and, and his staff. Uh, and we did have a concession there. We're willing to uh, work with the hours uh, of the operation of that particular trailer that will operate as a drive-through. Uh, and um, whatever we need to do, we're willing to do it uh, to accommodate uh, this commission and, of course, the folks here in the city of San Juan. What were the hours? Uh, we, we had thought uh, 12 noon to 10 p.m. Okay. That, that's what we had thought. But again, we're flexible. Um, and, you know, we just want to comply and, and, you know, give you every assurance that we're not going to um, create a traffic jam there with that food uh, truck uh, drive through Okay. Perfect. Anyone else for or against? Any questions, members of the commission? So that's pretty much the, that was, that was my concern as far as the uh, traffic. So now that he mentioned about the hours. Right, and, and they did say, Mayor Commissioners, they, they committed to the fact that if there was some, uh, if they feel that there's traffic jam and we feel that there's big traffic jam on that, they're willing to uh, cut back on the hours of operation. Yeah. Is that something that we can, I mean, we can evaluate over time? Of course, that, yeah. that's why, Bottom, it, obviously we that's why it's a conditional problem. use. Yeah, so in, at any given day we can strip the permit. Definitely yeah. right. And, and, and it's, and let me just note, Mr. Smith, I mean, it's, you know, the harmonious uh, communication you know, I think is, is, is the best thing here. And, and, and having the entity come in and try to say that, that they're willing to, to do whatever it takes to, I mean, it's just gotta be a plus for our city. So I just wanted to make that comment. Okay. Anyone else? Any questions? It's on the corner of Alta and Raul Longoria Road. That's the north side. Anything else? No? If not, we'll go ahead and close this at 6.43 p.m. Is there a motion to approve? Move, so moved. Second. Has been second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Next item is only request from single family resident district RS to the multifamily residence district of the 15.06 acre track of land out of lots three and six, block eight, John Class subdivision and requested by Cesar de Leon Lara. This agenda item is a hearing for a rezoning request from single family residential district to multifamily of a 15 acre track located along uh, the east side of Raul Longoria Road in between Owasa and Minnesota Road. He's proposing to build an apartment complex in a different, in a different phases and the subdivision plan will be required in order to do any improvements to the property. A staff mail letters to 89 property owners and receive no comments in favor or against the request. So this is a public hearing. Now this matter is before you. Public hearing. So this time I'm going to go ahead and open this up at 6:44 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? For or against? Questioners. Okay. 
escuchar. Hablar español porque es. Sí. Tengo un negocio en Raúl Longoria. Mi negocio se llama Leal Arroceus. Y es atrás de este negocio donde queremos hacer el. Digo queremos porque es, es, un, es un patrimonio de, la, de mi familia, de mis hijos y mi esposa. Y no quiero decir quiero. Entonces queremos hacer una. que autoricen a ver si pueden autorizar el cambio de zona para, para empezar a hacer ahí por ahí unos apartamentos. Eso es todo lo que puedo decir. Gracias, señor. If you question? see the site plan on 2006, Mr. Lara stopped the front part of the property along Raul Longoria Road. He created four commercial lots, but the back part was not developed at that time. This is why he is proposing to rezone the property and then subdivide it. Right. Yes, the blind and zoning approved mm -hmm. okay. the rezoning. Any questions? If not, I'll close this at 6.45 p.m. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Yes. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. The next item of the commission is we have consideration and action and ordinance approving negotiated re resolution between the city of San Juan, Texas, and Texas Gas Service. As you recall, we brought this before you guys sometime back where the Texas Gas Service was going to go out on bids. They brought it back before us, and this is just a formality, letting you all know that uh, some of the costs may, may be going up, but this is on the Texas Gas Service. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Your motion approved. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Next item is hold a public hearing and consider an ordinance regarding amending Chapter 4, Business Regulations, Starting 4.08. Under alcoholic beverages, section 4.08.002, licenses and fees for the city of San Juan, Texas Code and ordinances of, to update the city's alcoholic beverages license permit fees, providing for codification, providing for a severability clause, and providing for a repealer, repealer clause. Good evening, Commissioners. This is a public hearing to update and amend the um, ordinance regarding Chapter 4, reg um, alcohol beverage and license. On September 1st, 2021, TABC consolidated their um, types of permits and licenses uh, from 75 to 37. So um, therefore, I want, we want to amend the, the standing ordinance. Public hearing. At this time, I'm going to open this up at uh, 6, what is it, 47 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? For or against? Any questions, member of the commission? If not, I'll close this at 6.47 p.m. Is there a motion to approve? So I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. The next item on the appointments, we have considered the nomination appointment of board member members related to the Planning and Zoning Board. Um, this is an item before you, as, as you know, there's a member no longer with us. Um, this is an item that, that, that is being placed on the on the uh, website, not on the social media. Uh, so if uh, you'd like to uh, maybe I, take no action and maybe wait well, a couple of well weeks. Well, I noticed that in our packets. Oh, I know mine. I don't know about theirs, but there was is there's no uh, any application submitted, right? There were. Um, we didn't receive any. No. And it no. was. Um, or three and a half weeks already. Okay, now it was advertised on the city website or was it advertised as well on our social media? On our city website. Okay, mm -hmm. I think what we need to do, Ms. Rona. That's what I was saying. Yeah, advertise it on the social media. Okay. For that particular uh, board, uh, PNZ. Right. And then we'll, we'll bring it back. So I guess at this time we'll take no There's action. No action. How many are we? Oh, how many are no, you? No, no, we need to replace it. No, we need to replace it. Seven? Yeah, there's six, so it can be. Um, we'll bring it back at the next one. Yeah. I Even guess on that line, uh, yeah, we'll bring it back. But okay. on reference to the uh, Keep San Juan Beautiful Board as well, uh, wanting to see if we can. Amend the. Uh, yeah, we bylaws. need to add. How many, Mr. Garza? Speaking. 
two weeks ago when we we're out there painting i was speaking to the board members and they were asking for maybe two more and i'm going to ask this commission well we can bring it in and how many members do you have we got five five, we got five. so two more two yeah it'd be yeah okay they're having a little you know yes. to meet for so okay we'll, we'll bring it back next time we'll take no action at this okay under discussion and possible action, we have preliminary and final plan approval of the City of San Juan Parks and Recreation Center subdivision being a 7.67 acre tract of land out of lot 9, block 6. John Clando subdivision located approximately a quarter of a mile east from Veterans Boulevard along the north side of Sewer Road as requested by Sames Engineering. Ms. Gomez. This is the preliminary <coughs> final plan approval of the City of San Juan Parks and Re Recreational Center subdivision that contains 7.67 acre tract and the property, as you know, is located to the east of the water plant number two. Uh, Sam's engineering is proposing one acre, I'm sorry, one lot subdivision with entrance and exit along uh, Sioux Road. Water service is provided by the North Alamo Water Supply Corporation and the sewer by the city of San Juan. Additional fire hydrants should be located every 300 feet of the existing fire hydrants and the water line should be looped to the eight inch water line. The planning and zoning approves uh, this plat, and we have a representative from the SAMS Engineering in case you, ca you have any questions. Okay, so this is, you got it. Any questions? So on this, Mr. Hernandez, so we're pretty much, we're, we're good. Yes, sir. Yeah, everything's, okay. He's from You're here representing who? Sam's? Okay, yeah. cool. All right. No, I don't think I'm pretty much, you know, I mean, we got all the information we need, and, and uh, we have Mr. Hona, so pretty much we're, we're, we're pretty much good on that. Yeah, yes. so you tell Mr. Sam that, you know, he, he, he needs to pay you overtime, okay? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> all right. With that being said, excuse me, go ahead, sir. I'd like to clarify something as well. Sure. Um, so for the water... So state your name for the record. And my name is Justin Cerner, representing Sames Inc. Okay. Uh, so for the water, we are in North Alamo's uh, CCN. Mm -hmm. But we were told by... I, I, don't, I don't know who, but I think when we were told I was, I was out, but that the city was going to be proposing a, a water line from that water treatment plant that's just west of our site uh, to service it. So uh, we don't have... a set plans for, for that water line yet um, but eventually we will be uh, going through with the uh, city water so, yeah. I think that that's the idea for now yeah. so this is to prove the plan obviously we're in communication and, and negotiating with the North Alamo so then maybe they can allow us to you know get the water from our water plant instead of getting through their CCN so that's something that we're in dialogue with them I don't think it should be a problem but I guess we won't find out till you guys uh, navigate those questions and stuff so okay perfect sir thank you so much thank you with that being said is there a motion to approve i'll second that all those in favor say aye, aye. motion carries thank you the next item uh discussion and consider proposed tax rate for the city of san juan for the fiscal year beginning october 1st 2022 through september 30th 2023 and set a public hearing mr gonzalez uh good evening mayor commission city manager um According to the, in accordance with the property law, if a proposed tax rate of 0.6765 will exceed the unused increment rate of 0.6876, a record vote must be taken and also schedule one public hearing. The public hearing will be scheduled on Tuesday, August 23rd at, at, uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, the, public, uh, the public hearing will be taken at the City of San Juan Memorial Library multi-purpose room located here at 1010 South uh, Standard. Uh, the property rate did go down a penny. Um, it's currently at uh, 0.6876, and we're proposing a tax rate of 0.6765. So pretty much, we're lowering one cent. One cent on property. A little bit of uh, more than a cent. Or half a cent. Is it safe? No, it's a cent. A cent. Pretty much a penny. A little bit right below the penny. But you know, the, as everybody knows, that Lauren went up. So obviously, if we wanted to keep that the tax rate, it means it has to go before a vote to keep that uh, 0.6876. Yeah. 
But yeah. because we're in that uh, gap, we're proposing, recommending that uh, we would drop the one penny uh, to 0.6765. And that's a law where we don't have to go out for, for an election, just with a public hearing. And I think it'll be good for the whole community knowing that you guys have Their done a tremendous tech. job in dropping that. Just dropped uh, it. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Correct. It's been a while since I had good news from you, Mr. <laughs> 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 I'm joking, sir. <laughs> uh, all right, good. So, okay. So, is there a motion to approve? No. Oh, it's a public hearing. No. It's oh, to, no, 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 no. It's okay. to schedule the public hearing. I'll, I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Mr. Leroy. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. The next item, Mayor Commissioners, we have a discussion of possible election allowing city managers to purchase vehicles from Hacienda Ford from Edinburgh, Texas, and an emergency purchase in the amount of 112500 Mayor Commissioners, you know the COVID has really put a strain on everyone as far as the car dealers where there's no vehicles and nobody's place uh, by board is pretty much out of the question nowadays uh, the minute we see a vehicle we have to go in and grab it because otherwise you're gonna be gone I know that uh, we have uh, CEOs from last uh, last year mr. Gonzalez 2021 where you, you had authorized the purchase of uh, three actually three vehicles three trucks however we are there's a couple of vehicles available at Hacienda Ford very available for us uh, but we can only get two of them with the amount of money that, uh, that, that we have on the CO. Uh, we're recommending that because of the fact that it's a dire need and the fact that we don't have any vehicles pulling none of these uh, heavy trailers, utility trailers, is a safety issue because at any time that hitch may come off. And um, so we're recommending that maybe we consider, you guys consider in um, allowing us to, to purchase those two vehicles from Hacienda Ford because of the fact that it's a dire need. We have them in our CO and the department needs them. Uh, it's one of those that, it, it, it'll be in sanitation streets and alleys, or even sanitation. And, uh, they'll probably be pulling like heavy trailers, probably. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mr. Garza, are, you, are those are the trucks you needed to pull the tra also the heavy trailers, right? For multiple versions? Okay. We don't have that No, we don't, no. So is this the, is this, the only dealership you went to, or did you call no, around? No, we actually went with several. It's just that uh, if we were to go without the dealership, it'll take anywhere between six to eight weeks, maybe three months, for us to get those vehicles. We will have to order them. This one ju just came out of our grace of uh, God that they're, they're they're here on the lot. We called them in. You can? They're they're holding them for you. All. They're holding them for right. them, yes, sir. But we did calls. Yeah, that that's how back there are on, on these vehicles. In fact, uh, Hacienda Ford had 12, but I'm going to go see them. They already had names on them. Bogus. Yeah, bogus. Bo bogus. Ready. Any questions? If not, is there a motion to approve? No. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Commissioner, the next item is a discussion in consideration to initiate a public service announcement concerning the city of San Juan stage two of the water conservation and drought contingency and emergency management plan. As you know, we're in a drought. This is not a mandatory, this is more of a uh, voluntary conservation. Ya se van a los fields, yeah. yeah, there's no more. <laughs> <laughs> so we're asking to allow us to, to go with a public service announcement. Yeah. And uh, within your packet, there's a um, the rain chief, no rain in the forecaster? He's Nada. been checking. All right, but sometimes it, it, it goes around San Juan. Right. Yes, sir, it was pouring on the north side, but yeah. on the south there was nothing. Yeah. It's been raining in Harlingen Lynch and every day, yes. and it never makes it this way. Uh, so it, it's one of those mayor commissioners that is that uh, we're at the uh, tip of it being an emergency now, but we're still not there yet. But... Uh, Yes, sir. Start that for now. Sure. Yeah. I think so good. the minute that the, th this is approved, obviously tomorrow morning, we'll let, put this on the social media. For the record, can we go over what a stage two indicates? What it means? The stage two, for the record, what does it indicate and what does it mean? Stage two. Stage two. Just what exactly is a stage two? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear you. What exactly is a stage two? Basically, we're just going to be restricted for, for irrigation. Okay. You can still water the grass. 
with with your water hose if you have a, no a nozzle, but it's more restricting to use a programmable irrigation system. Okay. But is there like a certain time that, you know, under, under stage where you can water the grass? From 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. What was that's that again? when you can water. 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. That's when you can water from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. On stage two. Got it. And it's two days in the north side and two days on the south side. Got it. Tuesdays and Fridays, it's on the north side, which is just north of the expressway. And uh, south of the expressway, the water will be Mondays and Thursdays. It doesn't mean that we cannot water a lawn, but it has to be in a control nozzle or whatever. But that's on the, on the irrigation system, though. Monday? Oh, pretty much everybody's doing this now. Any other questions? If not, is there a motion to approve? Second. Is there, been second? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Inspectors, Mayor, Commissioners, we have a considered authorized and city manager to execute an interlocal agreement between the city of San Juan and the city of West for animal shelter services. As you know, this is the place where we take our animals. It's the yearly coming back to, to you all for approval. We're still at the same place, same rates. Same rates, nothing's changed. City changed Chief? Right. Same rate. On the rates? Um, Mayor, uh, the rates have changed, uh, City Manager. It's only gone up $10 for the uh, impoundment and for the the cover of the deceased animals. So from from 55 it went to 65, and from 45 it went to 55. Those are the only rates that changed. Pretty soon, uh, the whole county is looking into a, a regional type of uh, shelter services, uh, but they're looking down the line still. Yeah, countywide. Now, with the rates changing, do, do we have to do a uh, MOU or anything like that? No, with it'll the new rate? This is this is the uh, proposal the local agreement that is going in with it with the rates, okay. and it'll be budget for the next fiscal year. All right. With that being said, is there a motion to approve? Uh, I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. And the resolutions we have consideration and approval of a resolution establishing the intention of the city of San Juan, Texas, to reimburse itself for the prior lawful expenditure of funds relating to acquiring, constructing, and equipping various city improvements from the proceeds of one or more series of tax-exempt obligations to be issued by the city, authorized purposes, authorizing other matters incident and related thereto, and providing an effective date. This item, Mayor Commissioners, what we have is before you, we have a, uh, an excavator that the city is in dire need of purchasing one of them. Uh, obviously, we're not going to buy it cash. It's going to be through a seal. That, uh, that's what we're asking for, for a reimbursement. Uh, so it is something that we need for to clean our ponds, our retention ponds. And uh, it's here before you. It is a $211,150. They're under the TIPS, the IPS. It's like a buy board program. Um, the equipment we have it as a demo, as a loaner, uh, it's been working great. It's one of the things that these people are actually taking advantage of. Is that the same one that you plan to buy? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, is it a new, what year is it? It's brand new. Oh, okay. It only, okay. It only has a few hours of use. Right. So what does a brand new one cost? No, I know that, but without any hours. Big difference. Oh yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, it is. It's clean. We'll see that the retention pond. They're be cleaning with that machine on the back of the uh, sanitation department. They're already cleaning the uh, drainage between pond and the city or the uh, Hidalgo County drainage ditch, so water can run that way when we have excessive water. Any other questions? If not, is there a motion to approve? Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bobby. Uh, on the consent agenda, we have item A, B, and C. Uh, these items are consent items. If you'd like to take any of these up for the discussion, you can do so in, at any time. Consent agenda, is there anything we need to amend or modify under consent agenda? Amend or modify? If not, is there a motion to approve? 
I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Under executive session, we have the Swan City Commission will convene executive session in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act. Burn Texas Statutes, Codes, and Codes Annotated, Government Code, Chapter 551 and 551.071, which is consultation with attorney. Tonight we have item one pursuant to section 551071, consultation with attorney, discussion, and possible action regarding the entertainment agreement for 2022, Noche de Paz, and also pursuant to section 551071, discussion and possible action regarding health insurance and voluntary products. That being said, is there a motion to enter executive session? I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. Aye. We will be entering at 7.05 p.m. We're back from executive session at 7.55 p.m. Is there a motion to reconvene? So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Under executive session A1, we're taking no action. No action at this time. Executive session A2, we're taking no action as well. With that being said, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. Aye. This meeting has been adjourned at 7.56 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.